Welcome to this video. There's a great campaign on Wallaxi. In this video, I'll show you how to create a campaign to send one or more emails to prospects. To do this, Wallaxi has integrated an enrichment tool, Drop Contact, a reference in this sector, to find your prospect's professional email using a method that's fully compliant from an RGPD point of view. With Wallaxi's free advanced package, you won't be able to retrieve your prospect's professional emails. With the business package, on the other hand, you'll be able to find the professional email addresses of 500 prospects every month and send them an email. If you followed the video where I show you how to get a one-month trial on the business package, you'll be able to contact 500 prospects on their professional email address during your one-month trial. Let's start by looking at the campaign if you want to send a single email to your prospects. To do this, go to Start a Campaign at the top, then Browse Sequences. You'll then be able to click on the plus next to Filter and select Visit. Then click on the plus again and select Email Finder. Email Finder is the action that will allow Wallaxi to search and try to find the prospect's professional email address. You need to proceed the Email Finder action with the Profile Visit action as I've shown you. Finally, click once more on the More button and this time select Mail. You can now select the Visit Campaign plus Email Finder plus Mail and click on Select. Next, you'll need to name the campaign. In our case, we'll put Visit plus Email Finder plus Mail plus Photograph Wren, since, as you may have seen in another video, we've imported photographers from Wren into Wallaxi, so they're the ones I'm going to contact by email. Next, we're going to import the Wren's photographers we've imported from the LinkedIn search. We'll select From My Lists, then choose Wren Photographers. You now have two options, either select all the prospects you've imported directly or select them manually. If you wish to add them all to your campaign, simply click on Yes, Add All Prospects. If you wish to select them manually, simply click on No, I Select. Then choose them manually like this and click on Save. Next, you can see that for the visit action, you don't have to do anything. This is simply the action where Wallaxi visits the prospect's profile, so click on Next. The same goes for the Email Finder action. This is the step where Wallaxi tries to retrieve the prospect's professional email address. Remember that your quota of professional email address per month is only used if Wallaxi manages to find the prospect's address. Approximately one email out of two is found. Next, you'll need to write the email you want to send to the prospect whose business email address Wallaxi has found. In another video, I'll share with you my tips for creating optimized prospecting emails and maximizing your response rate. You'll need to specify the subject of the email and the email address you wish to use. You can synchronize several of your existing emails with Wallaxi. You can also insert variables with the prospect's first name, last name, and company. Once you've written your message, click on Validate. I, finally, all you have to do is check that everything is okay with your campaign and click on Launch My Campaign. If you don't want to send just one email but prefer to send two or more emails to a prospect, that's perfectly possible. You'll simply have to choose another campaign. To do so, go back to Start a Campaign at the top and then Browse Sequences. Then click on the plus next to Filter and select Visit. Then, likewise, you'll have to click on the plus again and select Email Finder this time. Finally, click once more on the plus button and select Email. In our example, we're going to start with three emails, so choose three and select the corresponding campaign. You'll see that the setup is similar to what we've just done with the campaign involving just one email. We'll need to name the campaign. We can use three emails from Photographer Wren. In the same way, we'll have to import the prospects and write the first email. The only difference with the campaign you've just seen is that you'll have to integrate the delay between the first email and the next one. Obviously, if the person replies on the first email, they won't receive the other emails. That's when they don't reply to the previous emails. In my case, I generally set a time limit of seven days, which means that if the person doesn't reply to the first email, seven days later they'll receive a second email. You'll need to enter the second email here. And here again, you'll need to enter the time between the second and third emails. Again, only if the person hasn't replied to the second email. 
then you'll have to write the third and final email. Finally, all you have to do is make sure that everything is okay with your campaign and click on Launch My Campaign. That's all for this video on how to create a campaign to send one or more emails to prospects. In the next video, I'll show you how to create a multi-channel campaign to use both LinkedIn messages and emails. I'll see you then.